Caught on camera, a man opens fire on Enid police through a basement door while intoxicated. All of this captured on an officer's body camera. News Force Caitlin Ogle just back from Enid with this story. Caitlin. Well, Enid police say this all started as a mental health call. The police report shows his family and friends trapped him in a basement so he couldn't get to the firearms inside the home. But he was armed with a pistol and used it after officers didn't comply with the suspect's demands. It unfolded very quickly. It was a matter of minutes. Bullets piercing through a basement door minutes after Enid police responded to a mental health call at a home near Cherokee and Polk Street. Yes, my friend's husband um, seems a little bit homicidal, suicidal. He's been drinking a lot. Once inside, officers finding Matthew Travis barricaded in a basement by family and friends so he, quote, wouldn't have access to a weapon. Officers trying to calm the 35 year old down through the door. Officer, you know me? Officer, I don't know you. Travis appearing to want proof of who he's talking to. You slide your badges under the door. I slide my ID under the U. No, we're not going to take our badges off. No, 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 no. You don't understand. You don't get the f make the decisions here. If you have five seconds before I open fire on that door. Do you have a firearm? Absolutely, I do. You got. What I do? Officers not taking any chances and backing up before Travis makes good on his word. <laughs> Bullets spraying the door and pieces allegedly hitting an officer in the face while backup arriving on scene just in time. Sir, come out with your hands up and open. According to the police report, after some coaxing, Travis emerges from the basement. Our officers were able to handle that situation uh, without anyone being injured. Now, police never fired at the suspect, and he's now facing multiple complaints, including attempted first degree murder and aggravated assault and battery upon a police officer. I'm told the charges will be filed tomorrow, and we reached out to Travis's family, but we did not hear back. All right, Katie, thank you. It shows you how dangerous that job can be for police officers.